I posted a tweet this morning in which I said simply that some Christians believe life is only meaningful if it goes on forever. In contrast, some atheists believe life is only meaningful if it does not go on forever. And then I responded, they're both wrong. A couple people, not surprisingly, asked, why do you believe that? So uh, let's briefly talk about meaning and then about the reasoning of the Christian and of the atheist and why they're both wrong. Now, there's you could talk endlessly about the concept of meaning. Here, I want to simply give you, I think, a sort of basic understanding of meaning in an objective sense. Uh, so on this view that I'm going to assume, a meaningful life is one that exemplifies intrinsic goods, whereas an intrinsic good is something that, uh, by definition, it is better to have that thing than to lack it, such as love, generosity, kindness. Those are qualitative goods, and it is better for a life to have those goods than to lack those goods seems to me that if we want to define what a meaningful life is, a meaningful life is the kind of life that achieves, acquires, exemplifies intrinsic goods. Uh, and from that perspective, note that that definition of meaningfulness is not tied in any sense to duration. It's not like the life has to go on forever, nor is it like the life has to be limited in order to have intrinsic goods and thus to be meaningful. It simply has to exemplify those intrinsic goods. From a Christian perspective, think about it like this. Christians believe that human beings, when they die, they will be resurrected. And if they are in relationship with God and Jesus Christ, they'll be resurrected to life and a life that is eternal and never ending. But imagine counterfactually that God created the world in such a way that human beings only live for four score and seven years on earth. And then we die and we cease to exist. Counterfactually, I mean, it seems like certainly possible that God could have made the world in that way. And had God made the world in that way, would it follow that a human life was now intrinsically meaningless? Of course it would not. It would simply mean that an intrinsically meaningful life, one in which one exemplifies these intrinsic goods, is one that is now circumscribed by a limited duration, four score and seven years, for example. So the idea that life must go on forever is simply a non sequitur. It just has no bearing on whether the life is meaningful or not by definition. Now, of course, we would prefer to have a, a life of intrinsic goods that goes on forever. And I think from a Christian perspective, I'm very happy to say I believe that that is in fact the case. But the meaningfulness of the life is not tied to the life going on forever. From the atheist side, often the reasoning is like this. It's a principle of scarcity. The idea is that something is only valuable or quote unquote meaningful if it is of limited quantity. So for example, if you have a diamond, it's very valuable because you can't find diamonds everywhere. But if you uh, have diamonds as abundant as sand on the seashore, then diamonds are not gonna be valuable anymore. And it's the same thing with a life. So that if a life is just gonna go on forever, it's no longer valuable no longer meaningful. But if the life is circumscribed by a limited time, then it now becomes meaningful. That too, I think, is errant reasoning. Because um, when we think about intrinsic goods, intrinsic goods, their valuation and their meaningfulness does not fluctuate with respect to the open market of abundance. So for example, if there is a lot of love, that is not less valuable then if there's only a little bit of love in contrast to a lot of diamonds not being valuable, but a few diamonds being valuable. On the contrast, love, because it is intrinsically valuable, rather than having its value uh, relative to scarcity, it is, it is not affected by the fact that it could be abundant or super abundant. And so uh, the fact that life could go on forever would not diminish in any sense the intrinsic meaningfulness of the life that is lived in terms of exemplifying intrinsic goods. So for that reason, I think both the Christian who thinks that meaningfulness is essentially tied to never ending duration, and the atheist who thinks that meaningfulness in a life is intrinsically tied to limited duration, they are both equally wrong.